Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Uncle Kane here. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, the repair and diagnosis and repair of a problem with the glow plugs on my TYM HST330. First of all, no judgment. It's still really dirty because I haven't cleaned it up after doing a major amount of dirt work. For some logging last year, uh, I rearranged the dirt to get the water to go where I want it to go, built a vegetable garden, etc. And it's very dry and dusty in the Willamette Valley in the middle of summer, so the tractor's filthy dirty. Again, don't judge. The TYM has been quite a workhorse, but as the weather's gotten cooler and it takes longer, more cranking to get it to start, I thought maybe after 10 years or 12 years it would be a good idea to actually learn how glow plugs work, and it turns out mine didn't. Here's a quick video to show how the glow plugs on a TM, TYM HST330 are supposed to work. I turn the key to the left in the glow position, and this light comes on solid. What you might not have seen very briefly is that light flashes as long as I hold the key in the glow position. When I release it, this light comes on solid. And after the warm-up period, that light will go out. When I say nothing more happened at the time, what I mean by that is the flashing light came on, but this light here did not come on. That indicated to me that nothing was happening. Now, I had to post on Tractor by Net, and a kind TYM owner replied to help me understand how this was supposed to work in the first place. So then I went to work on troubleshooting it. The glow plugs, uh, I've learned, have two components that affect their operation. One is a relay that carries the bulk of the current that drives the glow plugs, and the second is a timer that controls how long the glow plugs are on for. In my case, I rather suspected the relay since it was in the front of the tractor where it might get more jostling. Apparently the timer is underneath the dash. So I decided to troubleshoot starting with the relay, and if that proved to be not the issue, then I would start chasing down the timer. Turns out the relay was the problem. Here's how I went about it. The only problem I had in troubleshooting this was figuring out where the relay was located and how it was supposed to operate. Fortunately, a fellow user on Tractor by Net gave me that information. My troubleshooting steps were really simple. I connected my test light to the negative pull of the battery. You notice it's reversed here because I wanted uh, more cable space and I wanted the uh, terminals toward the front of the tractor in case I had to jump start it. Um, so here we have a fusible link. In my case, it's a fuse in line. And even though the fuse looked intact, I first probed here with my light to make sure that I had power. Um, the color code of this, uh, of this uh, heavy wire that this yellow line connects to, uh, in fact, you know, it does come down here to the back of the, of the relay. Uh, the primary side of the relay has power on the red and black wire until you turn the key to the glow position and then it goes to ground, indicating that uh, current is flowing through the uh, primary. The relay should click on at that point, and if it doesn't, then you've got a bad relay. Mine did not. A quick uh, physical examination revealed that this wire had actually broken free slightly, and when I soldered it back in place, I was able to energize the relay through the primary coil. Here's a close-up picture that shows how that primary lead had broken free of the solder joint, and all that was required was re-soldering it to the terminal, and then the relay worked. So now I need to replace the relay or I need to reseal the cover over this uh, so that it's mechanically strong enough to permit the relay to be mounted on this tab. Uh, and so the whole weight of the relay and the wires will be on the cover. So unless it's securely glued or something, there's the possibility it'll break again. But in any case, mystery solved. The glow works just perfectly now. In my case, I chose to reseal the existing relay using silicone caulk. Despite the dirt on the outside of it, the inside is spotlessly clean and the edge where I had broken it open was also spotlessly clean. So I applied a healthy amount of silicone caulk and I'm putting it in a vise to hold it overnight just to get the caulk to set. If I have a problem again, I'll certainly know exactly what it is. Um, but in this case, I think I'm going to be safe and it'll work just fine for years. 
I appreciate all the help I get on websites like this one. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks.